Right, so this is the third Apple CarPlay display I've had sent me. This one's the Atoto P8, so it's the car version. So it does exactly the same thing, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. But the difference with this one is this one comes with front and rear cameras for a dash cam. So we'll have a look at the spec on the website as well. But when they contacted me with this, asking if I wanted to try it, I thought it would be perfect. Because I've got the family car, we've got, if I can just, if you can see through there, the Kia Sorento, that's got Apple CarPlay in it. This car, this 2011 Corsa, is my work car. But obviously this has got an old, all I've got is a CD player, which I don't use anymore. I can't put my phone through it. I can't put Bluetooth to it. You can play MP3 CDs, but I've got no way of accessing this. So at least with this Atoto CarPlay one, I can now connect it to the car, answer my phone, play music, and have maps. Because the problem is as well, is if I get a phone call in the car, I've either got to have the phone down here, I've got to have the phone on the passenger seat, and obviously, when you put it onto speaker mode, people can't hear you. So, we're going to put this in, we're going to put the cameras in, and we're going to see what it's like. Right, so what I've done so far. There we go. There's the front facing camera. So I've put that just behind the rear view mirror. There's the wire. So the wire runs up and the wire sits behind the head line in there. So the wire, I've put the wire in there. It goes all the way around the top of the screen. I've come across this plastic cowl here and I've, I've run inside. So there's the display. So what we've got there, there's the bracket. So we've got the bracket at the back. We've also got, if we open the door, there. We've got this wire. Running down there. I need to tidy that up a bit more. Comes under the steering. And what it comes to is this, a cigarette lighter. So that powers the screen. It also gives me two other USB charging points so I can plug the phone in and also it's got this 3.5mm audio jack lead and that jack lead goes here that's audio what goes into my stereo so let's just have a look at the screen so that's the ignition on There's the screen. This one's got an auto, it's got a sensor on the back, so it picks up if it's daylight or if it's night. Where if it's night, it dims the display, so at least it's not too bright in your face. So there, we can switch audio. What you can also do, you can have this broadcasting on a radio frequency, and then you can tune your radio into that frequency so you could use it without without that audio cable and if we go back but i'm using that one i'm actually using the the audio lead plugged in so these are the settings that one there that's the camera so i need to put an sd card in so it records because it records live as the car's driving um there so there's that's the view of the front camera if i put my hand in there we go so that's the front camera so what i need to do now is i need to fit the rear camera and it's also got crash detection on it so if the car's moved or bumped it auto records you can switch from front to rear camera oh there we go so i've got the rear camera plugged in 
That's the rear camera. And what you can do with that, if we put that there for now, if we go on this little button here, we can flip it. And also you can put on the reverse lines. So if you're reversing, you've got the lines to guide you. Front camera. And then we've got Apple CarPlay. There we go. So I've got all my maps. Do you want to read your messages, send a message or make a call? So what that's doing is that audio lead now, the audio from that is coming from my car speakers. So if we go back, well, we'll play a few seconds just so we don't get copyright. And there we go, so I can control the volume here, as I normally would on my car. I can also do it off the steering controls. I think I can do volume, let's try it. Yep, volume. But it does also come we get this little remote and you put that on your steering wheel so you can do volume skip songs answer calls play pause switch it on I think you can access Siri from that as well so we'll probably get that mounted as well but what I'm gonna do now I've got to find out where we're gonna mount the rear camera and the rear camera has got this long lead because obviously this wiring has now got to come all the way through the car so i'll go and have a look now where we're wiring the rear camera and then we'll try it out so there is the rear view camera we're just sitting at the top of that spoiler what i've got to do is run the cable behind the spoiler into the seal then i can just come along the inside of the car inside of this or the carpet or above the head lining and to the camera so let's have a look let's see if it works okay so that's the front facing camera rear facing camera And there you go, with the parking lines. You can have them side by side. Right then, so here's the remote. So this is what we've got, the little outer wheel. that adjusts the volume I can still use this volume if I want to I've then got the center button if I press that that should be Siri there we go bottom ones play the right one is to skip a song left one get to the previous song or if you're in phone mode that's to answer that's to hang up and then the top one is to mute the sound so let's have a look there we go sound off pause next song Next song, press play. Pause. 
next song, next song, next song, next song. So that's quite good, that is a lot there. Open Google Maps. There we go. Okay. I can still play my music. So there we go. That's the Atoto P8 on Dash Navigator. Seamless phone integration. Front and rear cameras with a remote control. You also get with the remote control a little strap so you could put the remote control on the steering wheel like that. But I'll just put it there in the middle for now. It's easy enough. All I need to do is just bury that cable behind there and then we're done. Let's see if let's phone goose actually. Let's make a phone call. So phone goose. Uh, All right. Yeah, I've just fitted this um fitted this uh car plate. I was just testing the phone call on it. Yeah, yeah, it works right. Yeah, yeah, well, good. Oh, and I'll speak to you later. All right, so, uh, bye, bye. There we go, hung up on him. Perfect for the older cars where you can't have your phone, Bluetooth connection, you've got no sat nav. That is now replaced with that. I'll put a link up to the video. So thank you, Atoto, for sending that. That's going to come in handy in this car. But I'm happy with it. So to the next one. Oosh. Oh, mm -hmm.